Good afternoon, and welcome to NCloud 9's monthly webinar on Dynamics 365. Our topic today is credit card processing using Dynamics 365. And to uh, bring up this topic, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about us before we get started. Uh, if you guys are NCloud9 customers out there, you probably know all about us. But if you haven't worked with us in the past, NCloud9 is a Dynamics 365 a CRM partner with Microsoft. We've been working with Microsoft Dynamics 365 exclusively for about 15 years, work with companies throughout the US and Canada. Primary focus is on cloud-based CRM, so working with the Office 365 environment of cloud of CRM. And we also provide support for our customers. So uh, we not only help you get going on Dynamics 365, but we help you make sure that you have a long-term uh, successful solution and a long-term relationship and a long-term partner with NCloud9. So today we're talking about a product. And, and by the way, my name is Brian Begley. If you didn't catch that, I'm the owner of NCloud9. Uh, we're going to talk about a partner that we've been working with for a while. Uh, the company's name is iSolutions, and they are out of Indianapolis, Indiana. And, in, and iSolutions has built a couple of other products for Dynamics GP and Microsoft Business Central ERP software, which are designed around collections management for small businesses who are using those applications. So earlier this year, we reached out to iSolutions. We've been, we've been partners of them in the past, but we reached out to them and said, you know, it's time to start building up a credit card processing solution for Dynamics 365. Um, so we worked with Ryan and the team over there to help build this application. We were the first customer to use it out, use it, and we've been using it successfully since about January of this year. Uh, so with that, they 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 have brought this solution out to AppSource, so you can get this into your system today by going out to Dynamics 365's Apps AppSource website. Uh, and Cloud9, we are a, currently a, an exclusive partner with iSolutions to help cut, bring customers on board with the iSolutions application. So today what we're going to do is we're going to walk through a couple of scenarios of how you might use iPayments with your Dynamics 365 system. And uh, so I'm going to go to the next slide here. So why, why work with this solution? Well, right now, this solution is an all-in-one solution. In the past, if you were using Dynamics 365 to create sales orders and invoices, and you wanted to record a payment against that, you had to use a merchant terminal from your credit card processor, or you might have to transact that into your ERP system and have someone in your, your accounting department per perform the credit card processing step. With the iPayment solution from iSolutions, you have the ability from a sales order or an invoice in Dynamics 365 to be able to quickly use a credit card to make the payments. But not only credit cards, but the iPayment solution also allows you to accept checks, ACHs, and other payments as well and record it against those invoices. So it's not just a merchant credit card processing solution but it's a overall collections management solution for Dynamics 365. So we, it also will integrate with Dynamics ERP systems. So if you're using GP, if you're using Business Central, and also if you're using QuickBooks, you can integrate that over to your other financial systems to record those payments as well. And then using Dynamics 365 workflows or Power Automate flows, you can do things like email receipts to customers, you can create recurring invoices for your customers and automatically charge them upon creation. So there's a lot you can do once this solution has been added into CRM. Now, of course, iSolutions has made sure that they are using PCI compliance to prevent cyber fraud. They have very tight security on how to use this. And of course, using Dynamics 365, you can prevent visibility to credit card information. And there, there is no credit card information stored directly in Dynamics 365. So none of that information is stored in your Dynamics CRM. Everything that is stored in Dynamics 365 
Of course, you can use a security role to prevent it. But not only that, it, it's it's any credit card number information is only stored with uh, with a mask over it to hide the entire credit card number. So getting started is easy, and we'll come back to that after I demo this to you. So let's at this point, I'm going to switch over to my uh, other screen, and we are going to see how it how this works. So we're in Dynamics 365 right now. And hang on just a second here. Okay, so we're in Dynamics 365 and we're looking at a uh, test accounts that we have created in here. So if I look into, into my invoices, I have a few invoices that are sitting out there and they need to have payments made against them. So I'm gonna open up this first one here. We have an account called a test account. A test account is one of our clients, and in this invoice, they we currently have an invoice for $250. Um, I'm going to go down to my iPayments section, which has been added down here at the bottom of our, of our CRM system. I'm going to click on a new iPayment. When I click on a new iPayment, this window is going to pop open. It's going to pre-fill the amount of the invoice. So the invoice was $250. It's going to pre-fill the credit card. And at this point, I would just type in a credit card number here, the expiration date and the CVV, and it will do the rest for me. It'll process the payment for the customer. It's as simple as that. What will also happen is the invoice will then be updated to reflect that payment that's been made. So at that point, this invoice will be marked as paid, and, and I'll show you that in my next example. But what I also want to show you, I'm going to go back to the new iPayment screen, that this payment type is not only a credit card, but you can select other methods to record your payment. So if your customer pays you by a check, you can put in the check number here, fill in the date for the check. So we'll just tell with today. Uh, if we have our address information, that comes from the account record. I'm and then I'm going to click process. So I'm going to mark this check, this invoice as paid. I get a pop-up that says this payment has been pr 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 processed correctly. You'll notice this invoice now is marked as paid in full, and uh, the balance due has gone down to zero. I can make payments that are less than the full amount, and if I do, it'll retain that balance as an open invoice, and it'll show me the current balance due on this invoice. That's a very simple, quick transaction using iPayments for a credit card processing. I'm going to switch now to another client of ours. It's a test account, Asia. And when I go to a test account, Asia, uh, I'm going to save and continue on this. I'm now going to show how I can create a stored profile for a test account, Asia, and use that in the future for any payments. So. We have the ability to create profiles. So let's go to our profile area. And under our profile area, I've stored credit card information for this customer. Now remember, this is not stored directly in Dynamics 365, but it is stored in a, uh, in a secure location on card points servers. Uh, it, I've stored the credit card number, the expiration date. It automatically determines the payment method as well as, and, and then I have the CVV as well. So if I go back to this customer and their invoice, I can go to that open invoice and I can say, let's create a new iPayment here. I click on new iPayment. I can either add a new credit card at this time, or I can choose that existing profile. When I choose that existing profile, it fills in the number, the information automatically. I can make the date received today or yesterday, and I would click process. And the, the credit card is gonna process in the background, and it will show that it's been processed when it's complete. Now, using CardPoint as the back-end merchant processor, I, we generally receive our payments within 24 hours. So they are a very uh, quick credit card processing company for us. So we use this as well. So right now, this invoice for 
shows that it has been paid. Um, so you can use this uh, with invoices. We've started using it in, at NCloud for a lot of our customer payments, especially our recurring invoices. And the way we've done that is we set up a, a we use Power Automate to create a flow. And when we create that flow, it creates the invoice automatically every month for the recurring services that we provide to our customers. And then it, at the same time, it will then just create another iPayment for that customer using the stored profile that we already have. And it will create, at the same time it's creating this new invoice, it will also, at the same time, create the payment against that invoice. And it will send a copy of the invoice as well as a copy of the payment information to the customer so that they have that for their records. And it's very slick, very easy to build. Uh, we can help you to build that here at NCloud9 and uh, you know, just let us know if that's what we want to do. So that is fundamentally how iPayments works with, uh, with Dynamics 365. As you saw, it's extremely simple. Uh, it's easy to use. Uh, one other thing I do want to show you is not only, though, can your clients pay via a credit card uh, by giving it to you over the phone. But we've also, for example, we do, we have a, this, the account comes with a payment portal. So if I click on creating a, a PDF of this invoice, and I'm going to download this here. So when I create this invoice, in our invoice template, we've created a link on the PDF. And if the customer clicks on that link, that will take them out to our payment page. And all they need to do is fill in the invoice number and the amount due and their credit card information. And they can quickly make this payment themselves on this secure payment page. So iPayments makes getting money from your clients easy, getting your payments due from your clients. So how do we get started with this application? Well, let's show you. It's pretty much a simple two-step process. It can be done within a day. Um, we should be showing my other screen right now. Yep. So getting started is pretty easy. You need to go out to Microsoft App Source, and we, we can send you that link. It's going to be included in this slide presentation that you receive from us. And once you, you get that solution, you can download it into your environment, and then we'll send you out the uh, documentation you need to start processing your credit cards through uh, CardPoint. And CardPoint has very good rates for processing, and we've been very happy with the service that we've been getting from them. So with that, that's all we really had to talk about today. Uh, there's that link in our, our, our document if you want to go download the application. Uh, once again, if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Now, are there any questions that we can have that anybody has about this application so far? So I see there is one question about the cost for this. Uh, the application itself from AppSource, there's no cost today. Uh, it, if you work with CardPoint as your processor, it doesn't cost anything. If you choose to bring your own credit card processor, which is possible, there is a monthly charge, and, and that's something that's charged by the iSolutions folks. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Well, thank you very much then for getting in our meeting today. We're going to be sending you out the uh, PowerPoint pro slides for this so you, you'll have any links and any information. Also, you can sign up for our next webinar. It's on July 17th, and it's going to be about the topic of enhanced filtering using Dynamics 365 and Power Apps. So it's, it's going to be discussing some of the changes that have been made with, with working with views in Dynamics 365, uh, much more powerful than it used to be, and there's a lot of good information that you'll get from this. So we look forward to talking to you, everybody. Have a great Excuse summer. Me, Brian, there is yes. one question from Bakar about okay. third-party option exists regarding the bank. And yeah, and so there is, you can use non-card point processing with that, but we'd have to work with you to make that work. So uh, you, you would want you to reach out with us.
to work with non-card point processors. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Once again, feel free to sign up for our next webinar and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.